morning. It is 5.30 in the morning. I have about a minute to film this before I head out the door uh, because I'm catching the very first tram out to go to the airport because I will be flying from my local airport to Valencia, which is not something I've never done before, so I hope it all goes well. And I just wanted to quickly show you my travel outfit. So I'm wearing Veja sneakers, H&M trousers, like dress pants, Saison sweater, and a H&M linen shirt. It's warm where I'm going, but it's cold where I'm at. So I thought if I layer, um, I won't be too cold and it's something I can easily take off when I get to the airport on the other side. So uh, let me get to the tram and take you along for the ride. Hello from Valencia. I have already been walking around a lot, as you will have seen, but the room wasn't wet ready when I got here around 11, so I decided to just roll with it and just go about town, and it's around four o'clock now. My feet are tired. I've walked nearly 20,000 steps already, and I haven't even had dinner. Um, I've been up since 5.15, of course, so it's uh, it's been quite the day, so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna chill out in the room for a little while and just not really do too much of a good thing. I've uh, pretty much gone around the entire old city already. I've seen both of the city gates, the market hall, I've been to the silk exchange, I've been to the cathedral, a church devoted to Saint Nicholas, which if you're from the Netherlands, you know. Um, and also to an old monastery that was turned into a modern art museum. 
it's been a lot of fun so far. I'm really liking all of the little like streets and all the there's loads of bars and restaurants around. So I will have a fun couple of days, that's for sure. And the hotel I'm staying at, like it's a really tiny, small hotel right smack in the middle of the old city. And the people here are lovely. The lady at the front desk told me that it's run by four sisters. And two of them actually run the hotel and two of them run a nearby bakery. And every morning they have like a little sweet treat that you can treat yourself to, which I think is really cute. So yeah, it's a very small hotel right in the heart of the old city. I was thinking of maybe renting a bike, but now that I see how close I'll be to pretty much everything, I think I can do everything by foot, which is nice. So that's why I need to give my feet a rest for today before I head out to dinner later tonight. Um, because um, I've already walked so many steps and I'm pretty sure I will clock around 20,000 steps already on the first day, which is a lot. And tomorrow I want to head out to the park and find like the science museum and head to the beach because tomorrow is going to be a really beautiful day. It's supposed to be 25 degrees and I forgot my sunglasses. <laughs> So I, before I head out to dinner later tonight, I want to see if I can find like an H&M or something like that and see if they have a cheap pair of sunglasses because I have really nice ones, but I forgot to pack them. So it's been really bright, especially when I went into the cathedral, it's like quite muted and dark in there. And then I got outside and my eyes hurt so badly from the bright light. So I definitely need to make sure I take care of that, but all in good fun, it happens, um, but it's not as if I can't go out and buy that over here. So a very successful first day already, and I will talk to you again tomorrow, I'm sure. Welcome to gloriously sunny Valencia today. It is a very nice warm day. It's only about 10 a.m. ish and it's already 20 degrees Celsius. It's clear blue skies and sunshine. So the thing for today that I want to do is to take a hike through this park. They have an old river that is has dried up or something and they turn it into a park. There's lots of people here on bikes. It's about a 45 minute to an hour walk to a science and arts museum area where they also have an oceanic, like, I don't know what you would call that in English, um, but I think it's called the Oceanographique, uh, which is like a, what well, they also have dolphin shows and like a tunnel where you can see sharks. But I already found out that that's quite expensive, so I think I'm going to skip that and just do the science museum. And from there, it's not too far to the beach. So since it's such a lovely day today, the idea is to walk through the park, visit the science museum, and then go to the beach. Now, I do have to say though that I'm not sure whether the beach is going to happen today um, because I don't know how tired I'm gonna be. I slept nearly 11 hours last night. Was it was a good night's sleep, nice hotel room, great mattress. I had a shower this morning. It's a lovely, lovely room really quiet for how busy it gets in the old town as well like there's all these bars and restaurants everywhere and it's almost as if the corner where my hotel is is like the only only corner where nothing is really going on so that's lovely as well and when you close the windows there's like no sound from outside as well so it's a nice and quiet really cool room as well like temperature wise so yay for that uh, so i'm just gonna have a walk i've got my bottle of water i hope to get to the beach around lunchtime and then have lunch there and then slowly make my way back into town so I can have a lie down at the end of the afternoon and then go out for dinner again tonight a bit like I did yesterday only I'm having a bit of a late start it's uh, 10 a.m. ish 10 30 ish now um, and so yeah we're gonna I'm gonna take you along for the ride as you see I managed to pick up a pair of sunglasses yesterday I went for these really big ones from mango H&M didn't have any so I was like you know what mango has nice things and very often like the bag I, I'm carrying is mango 
and it's a bag I've had for years and I feel that quality wise mango can be a little bit better than some other fast fashion stores and I was like I just need something really quickly so and mango is from Spain so <laughs> it might as well be a souvenir so I was like I might as well just buy one that I can see myself wearing long term so I've got sunglasses we're going for a walk and you know, I hope there will be benches around the route. I've got my book with me, so whenever I, my legs feel tired, I can hopefully have a sit down and just have a bit of a read. So that's the plan for today. Just a nice walk, easy time. Like yesterday, we did all the sightseeing. Today, it's just gonna be pretty chill. It is warm, it's really lovely weather, so that's what we're gonna have to do. Good morning. It is 10 o'clock the next day. I haven't spoken to you in ages because yesterday I got to so many really busy areas and I don't like to talk to my camera when there's loads of people around. So I just showed you some clips. So let me tell you a little bit about how yesterday went. Sadly, the shoes I was wearing, as cute as they are, I, I it was just too warm for them. So my feet were swelling up and I was in, in a lot of pain. So I ended up walking all the way to the science museum there are these like modern buildings that are really pretty sad to say though that the actual museum was sort of like in between exhibitions so there wasn't a whole lot going on which i thought they should have told me that when i bought a ticket but oh well um i was there i was able to grab some food rest my feet and then i noticed that there were a lot of like rental bike places nearby so i rented a bike to get to the beach and it was pretty busy over there because it was such a beautiful day. I think a lot of people were just like, let's go to the beach. So I ended up just grabbing an ice cream and then getting a bike back into town, got back to the hotel. And then I um, just laid down for a bit, bit, had a bit of a siesta, and then I went to dinner for tapas. So that was a lovely, lovely time. It was really, really warm today. It's supposed to be really nice weather today as well. Um, but today we're doing shopping. I have been told that there is a neighborhood with like little bars and restaurants and vintage shops. So that's where I'm going. It's a little bit off the beaten path. It's not like where all the tourists go. And on the way there, I can walk by the shopping street where I went to buy sunglasses the other night. So um, I'm going to have a browse around there. I really did go into the Sephora here. Um... The first night I was here and I also found this like drugstore place, but it was really, really busy and I just didn't want to stand in line and because it was so packed, I didn't really have like a lot of space to browse and just have a good time. So that's what I want to do this morning and just then go on to the other neighborhood, find some vintage shops, just browse around, see a different part of town really. And then again, sort of like two, somewhere between two and four, head back to the hotel have a lie down for a few hours and then head out to dinner again. And that will be my final full day here. I'm only away for a few days. So I did a lot of walking yesterday. It was another like 20,000 steps and over an hour of bike riding. So we were very active again today. So I'm just like, this vacation is also supposed to be like chill. <laughs> um, so that's why I'm not like heading out like super early in the morning. It's like 10 a.m. right now. Uh, as I'm filming this. So I'm just going to make my way slowly over to those uh, shopping street areas, 
and then going to those vintage shops and then we'll see um that's sort of the plan for today um a nice chill day it's gonna be nice weather out again so i'm wearing my sunscreen and i'm wearing like a teensy tiny bit of makeup like because it's so warm i don't want to pile on layers of makeup so there's that so i'm gonna take you along for the ride and i may not be able to, to talk to you again until tomorrow i always forget to talk to the camera i'll film clips but i always forget to do a talky bit <laughs> so here's thursday Good morning, it is the final day, I'm in Valencia and I thought I could really sh quickly show you what I shopped. I'm flying hand luggage only again, so I couldn't shop too much, but I got this vintage vest top thing, gilet thing, and I just really, really like the print on this with like the oranges and like the purples and the paisley print with the florals, I thought it was really fun. And then I went to Sephora, so I picked up the House Labs concealer and one of their powder puffs, and I finally managed to find the Burgundy Maybelline Sky High Mascara, because that that's been out of stock everywhere. And in the Netherlands, this retails for close to 20 euros, and here it was only 13, so that's a pretty good price, I find. So, yep, that's uh, everything I picked up yesterday. I went to many more stores, but um, I couldn't pick up as much as I said because of that. So let me show you in a little bit as well what I brought makeup-wise and how I pack my handbag for a day out on the town. Good morning on the final day in Valencia. I just showed you what I shopped yesterday because I ran out of lighting and I couldn't really show you at the time, so I showed you this morning instead. And now I thought I could show you real quickly what I brought makeup-wise Come about because I'm about to sit down and do a bit of makeup and also how I pack my sort of like hand luggage thing. So, so I'm just like Florence, if you've seen that vlog, I'm just traveling with my backpack. That's my carry-on suitcase. It fit everything. I just had two pairs of bottoms and like a different top for every single day. And then you just shower every single day and you're fine. So I'm wearing the navy slacks again that I wore the day I left. I'm re-wearing them today with my Arquette linen blouse instead of like a beige blouse, my Saison sweater. I'm going to see if I can pack it so I can wear it tonight on the plane because I'm going back to a place where I'm going to A, land later in the, at night and it's a lot colder there in the Netherlands than it is here. So I do need layers. And this is a thing that I've been carrying around for the past couple of days. So this is a mango bag that I've had for years. And if I put it on the biggest setting, it fits everything I need. So this is my purse, you could say. So I just have some lip balm in there like metro card that sort of thing wallet mints i even have a charger down here as well as my earbuds and then i have a book in here i i tend to select a book that will fit into this bag when i'm traveling and then i just have some stuff like my phone can still fit in here uh, bec because that's nice and flat just some papers in here and i can still fit my sunglasses here in the front if need be <laughs> so i can have everything nice and secured in my little bag the sunglasses are currently lying here hello that's the mirror and this is what i was taking with me makeup and skincare wise so not a whole lot i don't tend to do a lot of makeup when i travel especially not if it's like a warmer country these are the new bits so i need to not forget to pack them um in fact I haven't even worn most of this, I'm not going to lie. So just a fragrance, my two ColourPop eyeshadows. This time I decided to go for some Natasha Denona face palettes because these have creams in them, which is really easy to apply. Setting spray, mini powder, mini primer. This is what I was using for foundation. It's been working really well. Mascara, some brow things, concealer, which I haven't even opened. <laughs> I haven't used concealer at all. 
um, and my MAC Paint Pot and my eyeshadow. And then for skincare, I had these minis from Bioma. So the cleanser, the moisturizer, and the serum. And then the Bioderma um, micellar water toothpaste and sunscreen, which, which has been one of the most important things to take with me on this trip. So, so yeah, that's everything that I have with me. I did take brushes with me, but I'm just using the mirror from that bag. So that's the makeup for today. Let me take you around town for one final day. So I just quickly want to come on here to end this video, end the vlog, so that there is a nice ending. I got home super late yesterday, so the last thing I think you saw me do was grab a burger at this place near my hotel. Then I picked up my stuff, took the subway to the airport, and as I was waiting for the subway to go to the airport, it was announced that my plane would be delayed. So, but they still expected us there to be on time, and this airport <laughs> was chaos it was really busy it was really warm and they kept moving us from gate to gate because the plane was delayed so we had to move like several times um there were people who couldn't make it onto the plane because they had a smaller plane than anticipated so it was overbooked and then like there was this like there were a whole host of people who didn't know whether they could make it onto the plane it was messy so i got home past midnight and I just didn't really feel like filming much of anything, but I had a great day yesterday. I ended up going to two museums and then I had a burger and that was pretty much it. So I had to walk through the park again to get to the first museum, which was their fine art museum, which is the second largest um, art museum in Spain and it was free entry. So I think that's great. And then the second museum I went to was the modern art museum. That wasn't free, but that was pretty impressive as well. They had this huge exhibition on the top floor about like popular culture and not in the sense of like celebrity and all that but more like where certain traditions come from from like different subcultures and it was really really cool it was very overwhelming because there was so much to see that i got a little overwhelmed in there but it was a good one and it wasn't one that was really on the list to go see anyways and i wandered some more streets until i found a place to eat um, decided to have a slightly bigger lunch because I didn't know what the situation was going to be like at the airport. Like airport food is just not really my favorite. So I'm glad I did that in the end because that burger lasted me the rest of the day. <laughs> so I was really happy for that. So I had a great trip. Valencia was a great place to be. And I'm back in the Netherlands and we're supposed to be having a nice day today. And while the temperature is nice, it's still not that sunny and like clear skies like I've had for the past four days. So it was a very, very welcome trip indeed. And I really hope you enjoyed being along for the ride. So thank you so very much for watching this video today. Thumbs it up if you like it. And I will be back with a new video next week. See you then. Bye-bye. <music>